All right, guys, I'm getting the distinct impression that a lot of you are looking for inexpensive bike locks, and you got your fingers crossed that when it arrives, it's also going to be high quality. Uh, give it up, guys. Not going to happen. This is a Sigtuna. Sells for about 25 bucks. I'll put the eBay listing right there. You can take a look. Not only can you see it's 25 bucks, but you can see that more than 100 people have rated this thing fairly highly. In fact, one user named Emily said, I would put this lock up against anything similar from Abus or Kryptonite. So I really had high hopes for this thing. So I bought it and here we are. Two components to be concerned with when we have a bike lock. First is the lock itself. We'll take a look at that guy in just a minute. And the other, of course, is the chain. The criminal is gonna find the weak link and usually it's this chain. So I, I kind of looked at the advertisement here. Sigtuna rated this 7.5 out of a possible 10. So pretty high. That's pretty good rating for just 25 bucks. 35 inch, yeah, that's correct. And this is the thing that grabbed my eye. Four millimeter, let's see, nine millimeter, four-sided chain links made from 3T manganese steel. I cut this away. I don't know if this is 3T manganese steel or not, but for once, quite refreshing, this is actually a hardened steel chain. Pretty tough stuff. So if you work for Sigtuna, like every other company, you've got bean counters. And if you put the money into the chain, probably means you didn't put very much money into the lock. Got to cut a corner somewhere. They didn't cut the corner on the chain. It's got to be here. And it's true. When you take a look at this, you pull the key out. I was, you know, big alarm bells should be going off when you see something like this. Whenever the key is mirrored, one side is the same as the other. It's usually a wafer lock, uh, a single-sided wafer lock because they're both identical. If they were different, it would be a double-sided wafer lock, but that allows the customer to put it in either way and not have to orient it, not worry about orientation. So, wafer lock. I'm thinking ancient technology, fast rake job. We're going to get into this thing. A little weather cover. That's kind of a cool thing. It is a wafer lock, and if I could turn it like so, the wafers are on the left side only, not on both sides. So that kind of confirms what the key already told us. Let's see if we can truly make this a quick rake job. I need to find a tensioner. And it's going to have to be the deep end because it's kind of recessed. I'm going to slide it, get that open all the way, out of the way. He's a little small. Try my fat one. Okay, that ought to work. You notice the cover's in the way, but there's about five degrees of turn there to overcome some spring tension, and I think, I think you can hear that. It's also pinched by what appears to be the housing, but since we're not looking for a lot of feel or a lot of feedback, we're just gonna try to bully this thing, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna overcome the spring tension and apply a little bit more. I'm gonna grab a random, let me grab a random rake here. What's this one? This is from Tool, one of the rakes, uh, one of the five humpers, I don't know. Let's try it. The lock doesn't care. All right, let me get oriented here. Keep everything centered. Apply, let me slide them in. I'm gonna apply some tension. Right about there, I think. And then just kind of rake him open, hopefully. I got a fault set. So many of you a fault set. I, I, don't, I can't imagine they have fault gauge in this thing. Huh, they don't. There we go, it's open. I got to say, you guys, if you want security for your bike, get yourself a SIG pistol or a raw tuna fish and hang it from your handlebars because that is guaranteed. Either of those two will give you a lot better security than this SIG tuna $25 lock. Not recommended. Anyway, guys, appreciate your time. Stay safe. Stay legal. Stay away from SIG tuna. Each of these videos takes four to six hours to record, edit, and publish, so I'd really appreciate it if you show your support by subscribing and clicking on the like button. Thanks, guys.